Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a project pan update. This is update number five. I feel like I'm a bit behind with it, but I don't care. We're just gonna do the update. Now I do have some empties. Hi Miss Fway, what are you doing? You want some food, don't you? Um, so I finished my elevating massage oil from Davines. I did mostly use this for like shaving my legs in the end and also as a scalp treatment I just didn't I couldn't get on with the scent and I found like it was so difficult to get out of my hair not one I would buy again Davines is one of my like top tier hair brands though and I use a lot of products from them so definitely will buy more Davines just not this one I finished up my bottle of Clinique Happy Heart I did decant it into this spray atomizer rather than the roll-on that it was in I just I couldn't with the roll-on it was just driving me insane much easier to use really happy to be done with that I wasn't going to introduce a perfume but I have decided that I will in fact introduce one we'll get to it bioderma this is the um micellar water done dusted i've got another one of these i was there at the last update and finished it up um i have got another one of these i've got a bunch more but i'm actually focusing on some like cleansing oil samples that i wanted to finish up this year so that's where i'm at speaking of samples that i finished i used the toucha pure one step camellia cleansing oil this is nice i wouldn't buy it because it's a little a little bit it's, it's expensive um although buying expensive cleansing oils is not beyond me so yeah i mean i guess never say never um dr dennis gross this is a alpha beta extra strength daily peel so it's like a two-step peel these sort of things always scare me i don't know why um i just feel like i'm gonna like you know shed off all of my face skin it didn't happen it's fine i think i've got a few more of them to use as well and this i used up this box of max clinic high hyaluron vita oil foam so these were little sachets of their it's like a cleansing gel to foam um cleansing gel yeah it's yeah it's just like a gel anyway i opened them all up and i actually decanted them into like a travel bottle and use them from there and it got me through pretty much the last month and a bit so I'm happy with that. I've had that product in a full size before and I really enjoyed it. Now I do have some other things that I'm considering done, removing from the project, stuff like that. Let's get on to it. I'll start with Quick Brow. This is a brow setting product from Quick Flick um it's definitely not empty i just feel like it's it, over the like months and months and months of using this and opening it and applying it and all that i feel like it's drying out it's just getting too hard to apply i'm just going to call this one quits and same with the hyper sharp wing liner from maybelline watch this call me a liar yeah see it like it looks fine but when i apply it I can do one eye but not the other. It's been suggested, you know, store it upside down. I actually did do that since the last update and it doesn't really make all that much difference. If I want to do a second application like the other eye, um, I have to do these ones and like I'm just kind of, I'm over it. I've got a lot of like liquid liners kicking around. I want to actually get around to using them so I can buy some new stuff and try it out like I miss it so I don't I don't need to get it to every last drop I'm cool with it like just calling it quits when it gets too difficult to use so that's what I'm doing with those two and this one I know I'm sad so I've been going really well with this I do I've got pan in the bronzer which you can see there no pan in the blush but also pan in the highlighter. I've done really well with this. Uh, I think overall, let me find it on my list. So it started out at 83.91 grams and I've weighed it today at 94.04 .04 grams. The last update, it was 
80.19 grams so a little bit of use since the last update the reason why I'm getting rid of it is because I can smell it it stinks so I noticed last month well it's July now so it would have actually been like the end of May probably I could sort of smell it a little bit like when I was applying it in June I went to open my drawer one day like my everyday makeup drawer and I could smell it when I opened the drawer and I was like that's not good that's that was really not good um look I have to say I'm happy with the progress that I made on this I wish I had started panning it like last year because I think I would have actually been able to finish it it it's kind of driven home to me like you know I recently decluttered some of my JD glow liquid liners as well and my stuff is old guys a lot of it is so old and I don't really look usually I'm not one to be like oh a, a foundation expires in 12 months I'm you know use it and then throw it out after 12 months I'm not really into that I go based off like smell and consistency and pigmentation and stuff like that if something changes there then I consider it like it's time to go and I am I'm a bit of a stickler about you know putting stuff that's not smelling right or feeling right on my skin these days especially after having cystic acne not that I think using expired products caused my acne because you know I it had sort of come and gone for quite a few years and I you know treated it it was definitely something that was like you know it was an issue with my skin not with products but in saying that I won't lie I'm a little bit traumatized by it still so with this not smelling right like I can smell it it smells like crayons you, you you'll know everyone who has ever owned beauty products has had a beauty product that you know it smells like crayons lipstick is a common one so I'm gonna get rid of it I as far as I know last time I checked and it's been a few months since I checked can't currently get this for starters Mecca I don't think Mecca ever stocked this after it's very first release i bought this one from the hourglass website and the last time i checked it was sold out it's been sold out like since the fucking dawn of time so you know i don't expect to ever have one of these again which kind of makes me a little bit sad um and especially now that like we can't in australia you can't buy hourglass from the hourglass website which is a shame so yeah i'm I don't expect this to ever be one that I can get my hands on again however if it ever becomes available to you and you have um, been wanting to buy it I would definitely recommend it I think it's absolutely beautiful I do think the highlighter leaves a little bit to be desired it's much more of a subtle highlighter um, but the formula is gorgeous and my advice to you would be just use it like don't buy it and then stick it in your stash and use it here and there just use it until it's finished get as much as you can out of it and uh yeah enjoy it all right let's go into progress of other products nars tinted glow booster so this one's a little bit hard for me to measure um the last time that i updated it which wasn't like <coughs> thanks freya wasn't the last update but would have been the update before I marked it there and it's now down here um, I basically just marked it where I could find it as like the lowest lying product um, it's, yeah you'll be able to see like it creeps up the side and stuff it's a bit hard to measure but that's where I'm putting that one Isonox micro foam so I believe I introduced this last time it feels like it's been so long since I didn't update I don't oh, I feel like everything's thrown off I don't know what's happening anyway apparently I introduced it at the last update and it was 88.13 grams now 84.33 grams I guys I'm sick of using cushions I'm not even gonna lie um, I have been using them all year and I yeah I'm kind of over it however I've got this one and one more to finish up and I think what I'll do when I'm done with this I might move on to a bottle foundation and then 
try and finish up the year with my last cushion because your girl needs a break. My powder is the Hourglass Veil Powder. I do love this. I'm like really enjoying this at the moment. I feel like this powder is like a dry skin dream basically. Um, you can get that like matte look but it's not super super flat doesn't feel like it's sucking life out of my skin which I absolutely love and if I want to like bring glow back into it face mist super easy love it so when I introduced it it was there and I'm now down here I did weigh it I'm not taking photos of the weights but I'll just mention it it was 107.8 grams it's now 105.78 grams so I've made some progress there which is fantastic uh, my next product will do the Omra Vixa, uh face mist. The Queen of Hungary mist it is. So I was there at the last update and I'm now down here. I, look, I don't love this. I'm not going to lie. I think visually, like when I see these in a store, I'm like, ooh, I want them. Um, especially when I see them in a pack. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them, but yeah, I'm just like, give it to me. But as an actual mist, it's not my fave. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy these. I would try to keep it in my mind. Like, you know that that's not your favorite. So why don't you try something completely new or pick up something that you do love? Not that I'm buying any face mists. For God's sake, I've got 50 million of them. Anyway, I'm hoping that will be done by the next update. My Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. So I have been marking it, not really updating it because it takes me a long time to actually get any progress. Since we've gotten this far down in the tube, I think it's about time I just start weighing it. Honestly, I don't, I don't love weighing things and taking photos because it makes the editing process longer and I'm just like, I just, I just need to get it done, you know? Um, but I think with this one, I have to. So I don't have a photo to compare it to from last month. I only have a weight this month. I've put it in at 9.67 grams, but like there's so little in there. I really do want to finish this one up this year. But you guys know when you get down to this part of a tube, if you love a product and you're trying to get everything out of it, like there can be a lot of product in this part of the tube. So I expect it to continue to take me quite some time. Let's do some pencil-y bits. Linda Holberg, this is Calf Flash. That's all I've got left. I am trying to power through this. Um, it is, or it was 4.05 grams. It's now 3.15 grams, which is really good. I, like maybe just a few more months on that one. Um, my Becky G Colourpop, a uh, lippy pencil in Monika. I'm loving this. This one was uh, 6.33 grams. It's now 6 grams. And then I have my Benefit Precisely My Brow in 3.5. I don't bother weighing this because I can never... Um, like, it, the weight doesn't change. There's, like, no product in it. But that's what I have left. I, it's funny, you know, like, I feel like I've got good progress on some makeup products, but not others. I have been not really wearing a lot of makeup, but I've been trying to, in the last, like, week or so, I've been wearing it a lot more. But when I'm wearing it, I'm kind of using, like, you know, some regular Project Pan stuff, but then also trying to spread my wings in the rest of my collection like with my everyday makeup drawer stuff and stuff that's in my actual stash so I feel like I've made good progress on some things and not so good progress on others okay let's talk about these Lisa Eldridge lip glosses I can't even remember when I introduced these into the project it was some time ago I didn't mark them I didn't weigh them I did nothing my I wasn't gonna pan lip products this year but when I was like reorganizing my makeup drawers these just wouldn't fit nicely so I was like screw it we're gonna pan them and I put them in the project and my mentality was like I will use them and if they can settle then I'll show you the progress that way if they can't then I don't care and blah 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 anyway I haven't really updated them at all since I introduced them in the project they've been like kicking around in my handbag they have had some use 
Today I decided I would weigh them and we'll keep track of them that way. I don't use them all the time. I have, like I said, a little section in my everyday makeup drawer where I keep like a rotation of lip products. So this, it's not really my like main priority, but I thought oh, we'll start tracking them. So this pinky one, which is Muse, that one's at 35.04 uh, grams at the moment. And then we have Affair, which is a more nude one. This one's at 34.19. This is my preference color. I really like it. But today I'm wearing Muse over my Manika lip pencil and the Melted Matte from Too Faced in Hot Buttered Rum. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying. All right, let's do some skincare bits. So I've got my Lush Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly here, which I think I mentioned... Last update, um, I said I was probably only going to use it with my exfoliating mitts just because I love the scent and I know that I can't get this exact product again. It was mentioned to me that um, there is another product that has the same like scent profile. I'll see, I know, editing Haley, you're going to hate me, I'm sorry. I'll see if I can find the comment and I'll put it in. So if you're curious, um, you can see it as well. But what I've been doing with shower gels recently, like I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting it under control, sort of. So I've been using this as a scrub, which is great. And like, I'm about halfway through the tub, maybe a little bit under halfway. Um, and not really feeling in any rush to finish it up, but knowing that I will eventually pan it this year. Um, and then what I've been doing is alternating like a shower gel that I've had in my stash for quite some time and a new shower gel which came into my stash from advent calendar uh, late last year and I've kind of just been you know yeah so I'm trying to stay on top of new stuff and still work on old stuff at the same time and I'm loving it it's great good fun uh, Mecca hand cream I'm not weighing it I refuse to weigh it um, I haven't got to the point where I've really like, you know, flattened the tip up here, which is usually what I would do and then I would mark it. I haven't been using it to be honest. I just, I keep forgetting or I reach for something else or whatever. Uh, so yeah, there's that. It's just, whatever. We'll get there one day. Laneige, my lip sleeping mask. I mean, you can see like she's, we're getting there. We are very slowly but surely getting there this one was 52.86 grams now 51.17 grams i've not been the best about applying this at night but whatever continuing on drunk elephant wild marula tangle spray i have passed the halfway mark so it was here it's now down here i just use it like, you know, after I get out of the shower, before I'm going to blow dry my hair. And if I'm going to, like, am I, let my hair air dry and then blow dry it straight the next day, then I'll put this in first just to, like, you know, try and protect it a little bit. It is a heat protectant as well, so we'll get there eventually. Oh, yes, I am taking out a couple of things that were in my, like, sample panning tub basically uh it's this the tatcha water cream so i have two of them uh i tried to use this i've got one that's had a bit of use there maybe they both had use i don't know they look the same i had them both on my bench at the same time yeah they both had they're both about half used so i if i'd focused on one i probably would have finished one um i just don't like it it's not it's not suitable for my skin i think this is much better for people uh, it says for normal to oily skin. I'm going to give it to my mum so she can try them. Mum loves touch of stuff and she's coming to visit me um, in about, I don't know, two weeks, less than two weeks. So I'm just going to pass them on to her. She can play with them. If she likes them, great, she'll finish them. If not, they'll go in the bin. Oh, I do have some other things that I've finished. Bio Effect EGF eye mask treatment. So this is a box of six pairs 
I must have used some at some stage in the past. Did I, I'm confused. Did I use some? Oh yeah. So I think I used one in the last update. Um, I used two recently and Chris used one. Um, I had one on last night and Chris said, oh, can I have one? So there's that. I've got one left. So I feel like that's not right. Three, four, four. I feel like I'm missing one. Maybe there weren't six in there in the first place. I don't know. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I've got one left. Now I am introducing some products. Um, I basically went through my inventory list uh, early in June and was looking at things that I'd kind of plan to pan in 2024 and whether that was like panning it with you guys or just, you know, panning it and making sure I finished it in this year. Um, and I realized I was pretty on track, like, I, to be honest, sometimes when I look at my inventory now, I'm really surprised at how far I've come and how much I've actually got out of my stash and how on top of it all I am, except for makeup, but like skincare and body care and, I mean, I've got a lot of hair care and stuff, but like, I'm feeling like I've really got my shit together there so that's really good but there were a few a few things that I think I want to introduce in, into my project pan because I find it's a little bit easier to keep me accountable especially when I've got that reminder every month hey you didn't use that uh, so I'm going to introduce some stuff this one is from uh, summer Fridays it's a jet lag mask I don't mind this, but I don't love it. I use it as a nighttime moisturizer. I don't, definitely wouldn't say it's like hydrating enough for me. You know what? I don't, I am really struggling. Winter here is hard, um, but I think it's a combination of things. My skin being really dry, um, it not really producing its own oil because I was on isotretinoin for a year. Um, the fact that the water that comes out of the taps here smells like a swimming pool and it, I'm pretty sure like the buildup of chlorine, which I can't get rid of because like, it's not like I can wash it off because I'm just washing in more chlorine water. Um, like I think that's having a massive impact on my hair, my scalp, my face and the rest of my body. Um, also like the really dry climate i just like nothing is good enough in terms of moisturizers at the moment something like this like it just doesn't really do much of anything for me it feels good when i initially put it on but like it doesn't get me through the night i wake up the next morning and i'm like oh i'm parched so there's that although layering it does help a little bit so I'm thinking like that's how I'm going to use it. I find like putting on a, a nice heavy cream and then putting this over the top because it's kind of balmy. It sort of locks everything in. Kind of helps a little bit, but it's not like something that I would buy again. You know, I just kind of want to finish it and be done with it. Um, I do have some more skincare. Let's do those first. Um, I'm putting in some sheet masks because I feel like these are my only saviors at the moment and I'm going to try and work through my older ones because I have been picking up some newer ones. So I have two from Dear Claire's. I've got the Midnight Blue Calming Mask and the Rich Moist Soothing Mask. From Sue, I've got the Extreme Gold Hydrogel and two from Myzon, I have the uh, Watery Moisture Mask and Soothing Mask. Those are great. We'll definitely use them. Uh, and I'm also bringing in these. These have been in my project pan before and I failed miserably. And I think I've done it several times. They're from Eliza Vecca. They are the Hydrogel Bouncy Eye Patches. These are eye patches that you can literally wear overnight. When you put them on, they're like on there. They stay. Now, my under eyes, um, since moving to Perth, like, I'm just going to say, they're fucked. They're absolutely fucked. They're so dry and like crepey and horrible. So eye masks are a savior for me at the moment and like really good eye products. I have, I've been using good eye products and I've really noticed like a difference with those EGF 
eye masks from what are you called bio effect um so i feel like i need to stick with it now is the time to use these now is the time just use fucking masks Okay, I'm doing a perfume and I've got some makeup. So, um, like I said, it wasn't really on my list of things to pan this year, like a full-size perfume. I just wanted to clean up a few little samples that I had left over and then enjoy my perfume collection because I've got my perfume collection to a point where I love everything. However, what I've discovered as I'm rotating through my perfumes, there are some perfumes in there that are like lesser favorites than some others so I thought okay this is a sign just work on those lesser favorites get them out of your stash and make room for some new ones so this one here is from DKNY it is uh, be tempted I think it's called so it's not a hundred percent full it's about here now i have marked it yeah you guys can't really see it there but anyway um funny thing about this i okay i i wonder if maybe this perfume is actually going bad no it doesn't smell bad i don't think i've ever had a perfume go bad if you guys have let me know what happened and how you knew but the reason why i wonder if it's gone bad is it doesn't smell the same as what I remember it I remember it being fresher and now it's just I don't know it's just not the same so if you guys can like you know tell me what you know about fragrances going bad and what to look out for um, let me know but anyway I'm gonna use this probably on my body because I don't hate it and it doesn't smell bad by any means it's just not one that i want to like sort of keep on rotation or have it you know it's like special occasion or when i'm in a certain mood i want this fragrance this is one where i'm just like oh it's fine um but like i would prefer to reach for something else so i will use it on my body i will also use it around the house it, it's one that i hope to finish up like in the next well, there's only six months of the year left, so, well, not even, but you get what I'm saying. Um, now, makeup. Let's do it. We've got four items I'm introducing. The uh, K Palette One Day Tattoo Real Lasting Eyeliner. I love these. I've, I've actually got a couple in my stash that are unopened, and I opened this one recently. Um, I've had them for a long time, picked them up in Japan, so it's time to use them. And, yeah. That one it's going in the project again I've got a blanket rule with this I'm gonna use it until it gets too hard to use and then I'm gonna get rid of it and move on to something else because I took the palette the um, hourglass palette out of my project pan I was digging around to see if I could find another bronzer blush and highlight palette and I do have plenty of them but they're all powders and I thought I should probably be trying to focus on my creams since I just watched one of my favorite cream palettes go bad. Uh, so I am bringing in three new cream products. I'm bringing in the NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm bringing in the MAC That's Peachy Glow Play blush. And I'm bringing in the Hollywood Beauty Light wand from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Spotlight, all of which I am wearing today. Now, here's the thing. When I was pulling these out, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this NARS one, barely touched to be realistic. The Beauty Light wand has had quite a bit of use. Like, you know, I, that, that's great. Um, and the MAC blush, again, uh, yeah, I've used all of these products, but like, they're nowhere near being done. These are like one year commitments. And I'm, what am I going to do? Spend the rest of the year trying to use up these products and ignoring the rest of my stuff. I'm going to just set a, like a usage goal on these. So I think for the blush, it contains 7.3 grams of product. I might go like, I don't know, should we go two grams of blush? Is that too much? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Laguna, this is a 19 gram bronzer. I'm going to aim for using three grams of it. 
I don't think that would be exceptionally difficult because I use it in quite a large area. And for the highlighter, 12 mils this contains, I'm just going to aim to use a gram of product and I'll just track it each month to see how we're going. If I feel like, you know, it's too easy to use a gram of product, then I can up it. If it's too hard to use two grams of blush, I can drop it down. Um, and, you know, when I reach the goals, I'm going to introduce something else and do a usage goal that way. Because I just, I don't have anything in my stash that is like heavily used and close to being finished. It's just been too many years of trying to like pan one thing and then either getting burnt out on it or finally finishing it up and not really being just not using my own shit enough so that's how I'm going to try and do it we'll see how we go one gram two grams three grams all right guys I'm going to leave it there um if you're noticing my hair looks shorter yeah it is I had a haircut I don't I don't really like I I took off too much I didn't cut it but like a hairdresser cut it but uh, yeah, I just, it's it's too short. I don't like it very much. So I'll spend the next two years growing it back. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I would say a massive thank you to my channel members. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.